Hey, what's up, Soda Pop Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today on things I got from Japan, voila, this EV fruit squeeze. I got it from 7-Eleven. I'm assuming it's grape flavored. Pretty cool. 7-Eleven over there is just nothing like any 7-Eleven you've been to. I mean, if you've been to one here in the States or probably somewhere else, the ones overseas over in Japan, way better. I highly encourage you to check it out. So I'm going to be talking about the eBay vault today. And no, I'm not talking about that for any particular reason, not to steal from anybody's video that's done it before. I have a very specific reason for this. So recently, I sold a couple cards. I did, uh, had them go to some people in the community sold them and i'm taking that money and i'm trying to put it towards a couple other cards that me and virginia want one for her one for me both times when i was on ebay i got this nice little interesting message asking hey would you like to ship this card that you just bought to the ebay vault and i was like no i don't want that to go to my ebay vault i don't want to ship this shit to vault 101 i want this stuff in my house i don't have any furniture i need pokemon stuff to make my house look lived in this is the stuff i need please <laughs> please don't take anything from me that I, I need as much of this shit as i can Please don't do that. So I clicked the option to ship to my address, but it got me curious. I was like, okay, well, what is the eBay vault? I've heard a little bit about it before. I know a couple people have talked about it, but I wasn't super knowledgeable about it. So I found this link. I clicked on it, introducing the eBay vault. Secure storage. The eBay vault offers secure storage for your trading cards. Our facility is climate controlled, insured, and protected by 24-hour surveillance. So what this is, is a facility now. I'm assuming eBay is in control of it or anything like that. Instead of actually having shipped to you, you can have your slab sent over to there where it will be digitally checked and you can have like a little inventory of what that you have in there and it'll be stored in this facility right there. So there is a couple limitations to what that can entail. I do believe there was a cost limit. Let me see if I can actually pull that shit up. But first and foremost, buy any graded card for 250 or more on eBay and send it to the eBay vault. You'll be able to send any card from your collection here soon. The badge means a card is already in the eBay vault. Buy it, keep it in there, and it's yours instantly. Or you can have it shipped from the eBay vault to you. So this is going to be at a cost, though. Like, they're going to actually keep it in there. You got to pay some kind of fee in order to bring it out. But there's the catch immediately right there. It's got to be a graded card, and it's got to be $250 or more. So poor people, get the fuck out of here. Your poor-ass cards, not welcome in the vault. Just like the community is going towards. Get out all that poor shit and make it so where all the elite stuff to only very specific people is in the in the vault for that I, I do like that stuff so your cards your call go to my ebay collection and see all of them at any given time keep your cards in the vault withdraw them for a fee or sell them right there so the big thing they're trying to do to actually get this stuff is like the the big incentivizer right there is they're waiving fees if you actually sell from in there so there's going to be no fees in 2022 starting 2023 you'll be able to actually you'll have to pay a fee in order to do that i'm sure i don't know how much that's going to be and that's the big thing I kind of want to talk about when I was looking at this stuff. So my cards, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I like being able to pick up my cards and just have them like this. I think the vault's stupid anyway. Like, even if it wasn't for a couple things I'm going to talk about, I just think it's dumb. Does anybody else really like doing that? Is there somebody who just doesn't want to put their fingers on their cards or actually go look at their stuff or keep manual track of their collections? That's just a foreign concept now. Is that just something like, oh, I touch my cards with my Dorito fingers. I don't want to do that shit. Is that just something that people don't want to do anymore? I think stuff like this where you're giving your cards and your prized possessions to somebody else, you're just always running that risk of something happening. I don't trust motherfuckers with my stuff. I don't. And I'm never going to trust a whole lot of people with anything that I have, especially if it's monetarily incentivized or anything. I'm, there's no way. I'm not going to do it. Anything could happen with that stuff right here. And I mean, their terms of service kind of say that as well. But at the same time, I just like having my stuff. I like physically keeping track of my cards, my inventory, what I got going on there. And I just feel like things like this are just kind of like a, a gimmick. Like, the only person that I could see this working for is, like, just a straight businessman who does not like Pokemon at all or any of the sports cards or anything else they sell in here that they touch. That's the only people I could see liking this. Like, you purely want to get it just to flip it. Like, I kind of understand that mindset right there, especially with them waiving certain fees whenever you sign up. And I think it's for, like, a year. So, if you only want to do that, then that's fine. But say that person has a change of heart, right? And here's kind of the big thing I'm I'm talking about right here because I haven't really seen anybody mention this. Maybe somebody did. In their terms of service, there was a couple things. So one of the things is amendments can happen at any given time by the post amendments. They can give you a little bit of a notice, but there are a couple things they can just do. I'm sure they can raise prices. They can incentivize prices even higher. And then the fees, I guarantee that's one thing. Is this stuff kind of takes off and becomes more popular, kind of as PSA did. Yes, I know PSA has a little bit of affordable grading right now, but at one time they did not, and it was just through the roof for grading. People still did it. People want to do it. I don't see it happening. The same thing with this, but this... This is what kind of got me. So here's what I saw. Here was the big thing that actually got me. So terminating vault services. Once you accept these terms and complete user onboarding, 
2FA becomes a condition of using your eBay account. So this is kind of a big thing. So 2FA is two-factor authentication. It's not a bad thing. It keeps your account more secure. Basically, someone's got to text your phone number. You got to have an additional email. There's got to be another way for you to get access to your account in case there's some suspicious logins going on. Basically, someone can't just guess your password and hop on there and like start changing shit, right? Not a bad thing. But apparently, the second you do this, your, your account goes into like some kind of weird scenario where like it can't be changed right so if you do this if you wish to stop using vault services and disable two-factor authentication you must close your ebay account and open a new ebay account on top of that so it's their two-factor authentication right there that's fucking weird you want to actually stop using the vault say you do have a change of heart and you actually do like your cards at this point now like you're like this sonia card right here my absolute favorite i want this over here and i, I don't want to use the vault services ever again fuck that shit had a change of mind. I've had my fucking blindfold ripped off. Yeah, you got to cancel your whole ass eBay account and then start over brand new. And that's something that I feel like isn't really heavily advertised with that shit. Like, I mean, come on. Like, that can kill a whole business right there. That can kill someone's entire motivation to sell. And some people's livelihoods is on that shit. I'm not the biggest sympathizer for sellers, but I mean, come on. That's fucking extreme. You have to just get rid of your whole goddamn account for for two factor authentication. What I can't just turn that off. Like that's just we're in the year 2022 and turning off two factor authentication that just break the whole Skynet mainframe. It's just donezo. Can't do jack shit with that. Sorry, two factor authentication is on your goddamn account. Nope, just not happening, buddy. It new eBay account. I don't care that you have 20,000 sales and you have a 4.9 star rating. You know, kind of hard to keep up with, especially with people being bullshit online, right? Yeah, don't care. Get out here, like. <laughs> I don't know. And I'll go back to what I was saying. It's not for me. I don't understand why people just don't want to hold on to their collectibles anymore. The only person I see this working for is a straight businessman, a straight seller, someone who literally does not give a fuck about any kind of card, in which case this is not really for them in the first place because this is heavily marketed towards collecting and viewing your, your digital collection and having that stuff and it's secured in the vault for your protection and move it anytime you want, blah, 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 blah. Kind of defeating the purpose. I don't know. How the fuck do you guys feel about this? I, I'm definitely one of those people that likes to hold on to my stuff. Maybe you're not. Leave it in the comments below. Just want to share this. It's just something that I found was really goofy. You have to terminate your whole account. That's kind of goofy. Two-factor authentication just can't be separated from it. I don't fucking know. That's all I got. Appreciate it, version. See you later. Have a good one.